Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. It's been a while since I've been on here. Um, um, we're all called to uh, live the word, to um, have a word ready for that any for anyone that asks for a word from the Lord. As Christians, I'm not a preacher. The Lord didn't call me to preach. Um, he called us all to evangelize, to share the gospel of Jesus. And that's what I do when I get on. Um, and this morning, the Lord laid on my heart, since we are in the last days, that perilous times will come. Um, and that's taken from 2 Timothy 3 and 5. And I'll just read a little bit of it for you this morning. Good morning all. Hope your day is wonderful. Your march will be fantastic. I know mine's will. I believe God for it. But um, 2 Timothy 3, 5 is, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men will be lovers of themselves, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedience to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontentment, fears, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such people, turn away. Um... That form of godliness means, um, you know, everyone professes to know and love the Lord, but when it comes to having faith in him, to believe that he's going to move mountains and do things in our lives, you know, uh, people um, talk a good game, but the proof is in the fruit. And I thank God that I do have fruit in my life, and it's no judgment to anyone who may not be there, because it did take me a long time to get even to where I am today. But I'm thankful to God that I am, you know, not where I used to be this time last year. So um, I believe God, he's showed himself trustworthy in my life. And this is just to encourage you that we are in the last days and all these things are going to come through people, places and things. Um, <clears throat> through the media, social media and what have you. But um, be encouraged and hold on to God's unchanging hands. And believe in the power of God. That's what separates us from a lot of different other, a lot of other religions is that we have evidence that we know that we know that we know that Christ moved in our lives. I know that who I am today, I wouldn't be without Christ. Um, <clears throat> I've always been like um, reserved. Um, type of person, uh, chill, laid back. That's my DNA in my personality. He's made me more bolder. I, like I speak more. I don't have a problem. Face-to-face -face connection to let you know how I feel, to do it in love, and to hear you if you desire to be heard. Um, unfortunately, some people don't desire to be heard. Um, they desire to be heard, but they don't want the truth a lot of times um, in terms of, you know, um, what you see as someone who's been seasoned or even in their lives for years. And even seasoned in the Lord, meaning you've been walking with the Lord for years. So he's given you a certain type of wisdom and discernment to know real from fake. So, um... And it comes from examining your heart daily. I do it for me, and there's no judgment on anybody. I love everybody. Um, I forgive them. I know we all fall short of his glory, but his mercies are new every morning. And know, know that in your walk today and believe for your march to be spectacular, fantastic. Greater is coming for us. Greater is coming for me. I believe it for myself. I come this far by faith. And I know that um, we serve a risen Savior that cares for our needs down to our little fingernails. He said our very hairs of our head are numbered. And um, I thank him for that. And um, if you don't know him today in the pardon of your sins, you can get to know him. Just say this little prayer, dear Lord, 
Come to me, a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in your blood. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I ask it in Jesus' name and to his glory. And if you meant what you said and said what you meant, God has done what you asked. And you are a new creation. You're a believer. You'll start to see that he is alive. He is risen. He knows you. He cares about you. He'll start guiding your steps. And you'll be like, how did this happen? And it's not, you, you start to realize these are not coincidences, that he is really real and hearing me and hearing my prayers. So I'm anticipating greatness in 2023. It doesn't matter what um, anyone says or thinks about you. Um, know who you are, know your worth in God, and know that if God be for you, who can be against you, and that this is the day the Lord has made. I will, we will rejoice and walk on the devil's neck and be glad in it, because the joy of the Lord truly is our strength. When we walk in that peace, that joy, that laughter, which is medicine to our souls, it makes the devil mad, crazy. Who cares? It's in his hell anyway. But um, be encouraged, have a blessed day, and know that God loves you, and so do I.